Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Wirecut Tutorials and Toolpath Series. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create these kind of any project where we have to cut a component which have some tapered angle. So what kind of tapered angle that we can successfully create in a wire cut for the Mastercam and what are the different process and step that we have to follow. So this is our exercise number 3 where we are going to show you for the cutting a taper profile and before watching this one exercise I would like to suggest you first go and watch our exercise number 1st part 1 and part 2 as well as exercise number 2nd part 1 and part 2 where we are showing you how you can create a profile as well as how you what are the different options in exercise number 1 we show you that all operations for the cut options for the cut parameter here in the exercise number 2 I show you the each and every single parameter for the lead in and laid out and in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a perfect and proper taper profile and what are the different kind of options available look before learning and before starting to work create this one profile I am going to show you this is our component it's a perfect and a proper way and now we can start to create that one component so now <coughs> when we need to create or cut these kind of component first I would like to click on delete all operations just press ok now as you can see write it here as you can see this this is my profile part for the outer this is my part for the internal right now we need to create that component with the we need to create that component in a proper and a perfect way with a specific height of my raw material and the internal part is tapered in a proper on particular angle so we are cutting that create that one component <coughs> we need to create the tool path with the help of contour once I press a contour tool path first option is we need to create this path from, from the internal area start from this one point create the path with the help of reference of this chain and just press ok once I just press ok after that we have to came in all these things and just we don't make any changes and just press ok again so as you can see here, this is my tool path which we created right at here so this is a very basic things to create a tool path now that we have to understand about to create a taper profile before we starting to cut a taper profile I would like to add on the stock model for that one component and for that one we have to go all entities and make the total height of my part is the 20 mm once I select the height of my component after that I have to came in a parameter in a parameter we have to came in the taper in a taper there are the multiple different kind of options are available in the taper but before we defining that one option we have to first create set the height of my UV plate that is equivalent to my raw material and the rapid height should be uh, 5 to 10 mm extra so I make it as a 25 mm now as you can see here this is my raw material this is my tool path and that successfully completed once my tool path successfully completed start from here and end at here now let we have to understand to create a taper profile so for create taper profile we have to make the two important changes first that you have to click on taper once you click on a taper after that you have to click on this one position or this one point once you click on that point so there are total four number of taper options are available reverse taper positive shape taper negative taper with the help specific one land height and the last and final is uh, bottom side is the land is straight and upper side is tapered and that profile is similar to like this where we have a taper profile with the straight the 5 mm and 15 mm is something like a taper on a specific angle so here you have to define the angle of my tapered profile here you have to define the land height for example the land height is 5 mm for my part so I just press 5 mm but I just may once make the tool path and all these things is still the 
nothing is going to be changed and taper profile is not created for that creating taper profile i have to came in a parameter i have to came in a cut parameter and i have to make additional pass that is scheme pass now have a look once i am on the additional pass or scheme pass after that as you can see here this taper profile is successfully created and that is called a perfect and proper taper path have a look after completing of that path or that pass now we have to move on to the next thing in the when we are work, working on the taper so in a taper there is one option that is called corner and in corner there are two options the first is sharp and for the arc type or radius again we have a sharp option so we are just clicking on here and just okay so as you can see here these are the all sharp corners available right at here so once i click or create that path successfully as you can see here this path is proper and perfect way once i successfully created the taper profile path now i would like to show you this is all about that how you can create a taper profile in a now pass setting that how you would like to make the taper profile apply taper pass after the pass apply taper in all pass and cancel after pass now have a look it means if in the previous option we choose the option that is called after taper profile will apply after the pass but if we apply cancel taper pass after the pass it means first my pass will be created as a taper and once my taper pass completed after that my straight pass will be starting to perform so here are the some options and operations are available in here so if you have any kind of taper so you can create easily with the help of mastercam wirecut module with the help of four different kind of taper and how you would like to choose that is all depending on you so now i would like to show you these all these things taper profile in the mastercam so for that one purpose i just click on this again i would like to show you the simulation of my that pass and just make the value down and now have a look it start from here the first thing is the taper i make the stock visualization little down only just turn on have a look so once my taper profile successfully completed after that start to cut a straight pass have a look Now here is a perfect and proper tool path that we created successfully in a proper and a perfect way. So I hope you guys get understand about that how you can create any kind of taper profile with the help of Mastercam in a Wirecut module. So if you have any question or doubt, you can ask us on the comment section. We will try to answer you the best as we can. So see you in the next video where we learn a lot of new things. So till the time, take care, keep learning, keep growing.